Hey everyone, Rob here, and I have updates on yet another different volcano in Iceland, other than the one in the Reykjanes Peninsula that erupted back in December. There's a different volcano underneath the glacier that seems to be ready to erupt. Now, a large earthquake struck this area. You can see on the green star right here in this Vatnjökull area, uh, which is sort of situated kind of towards the east of Iceland. Just earthquake of a magnitude of 4.3. And, you know, it's not necessarily crazy big by a lot of people's standards, you know, based on the comments on my last video, but it was at a depth of 100 meters and two kilometers northeast of Grimsfath, according to data all coming from the Icelandic Meteorological uh, Office. Now, the earthquake that hit this morning is the largest at the Grimsvat volcano since measurements began, and... There's indications and kind of a confirmation now that a glacial run has begun. They're all, of course, looking at all of the data indications that the runoff has started. And, uh, you know, they're looking at all the further, measurement, further me measurements that are coming in, um, you know, so forth. But the big thing is, is this is only a depth of 100 meters at uh, a magnitude of 4.3. So that's kind of really the concerning thing. They did recently change the aviation color code for Grimsvat to yellow earlier this month after a series of small earthquakes were detected near the volcano, but then the day after, on January 5th, they downgraded it back to green. But uh, everyone's pointing out and thinking that this Grimsvat volcano is about to erupt. Now, um, we have Magnus Tumigudson, professor of geophysics at the University of Iceland. He thinks, let's go to some of these nicer pictures. He thinks the glacier run, or the Jokulhleip, will be small, it's going to come from the Skidarjokull and flow into Gikjusvisli. That's hard Icelandic words. He says that he expects an eruption in the near future, although it's difficult to say exactly when it's going to happen. Again, the largest earthquake just happened earlier today since the start of the measurements began at Grimsvat. So, a little bit of background on what this volcano is. Grimsvat is the country's largest or sorry, longest active volcano, and for several years now, it's been considered ready to erupt. Land rise has been observed there for a long, long time, and it's been considered certain that it is due to the accumulation of magma below the surface. Now, in 2020, the expansion of Grimsfeld had reached the same level as before the last eruption, which occurred in 2011, and that eruption was pretty big. Magnus, to me, he points out that there was only an hour's notice before that last eruption. All conditions are in place for an eruption to begin in the very near future. Uh, but of course, as with all volcanoes, it's not confirmed if or when it will erupt. Although an eruption at Grimsvat would be an explosive eruption that would disrupt air traffic. And this is all because it is below a glacier. All the signs are coming out, several indications it's about to erupt, but when that time is, no one's really able to say exactly when. Um, it's more likely to erupt perhaps in the coming days than it is weeks or months, uh, but a lot of other uh, scientists don't really want to pinpoint their name to an exact answer. They say that we need to keep a watchful eye on it as the Grimsfoot lakes are receding and uh, and then go from there. Now. We have Lovisa Mjör Gudmundsdóttir, a natural disaster expert at the Icelandic Meteorological Office, says that no electrical conductivity has been measured in the water, but is believed that the runoff will come from, again, Skidarjökull and flow into Gigjuvist. The rush is expected to peak in just a couple of days from now, uh, soon after the weekend, they say, and the maximum flow will occur one to two, two days later. So... All of this is, is expected, and again, with glacial runs of the Jokulhleips, sometimes they lead to an eruption, and sometimes they don't. Uh, Lovisa says that the measurement system that uh, is in Grimsvat, uh, you know, it has a little bit of, of measurements for the elevation changes on the glacier, and, and expects that, and offsets it, and that way it's possible to estimate whether a large or small amount of water has accumulated. The largest earthquake, again, magnitude of 4.3, struck this morning. And everyone's pointing at this one, saying that there's going to be another eruption. Now, again, Magnus Tumigudmundsson, 
professor of geophysics at the University of Eisen. He's saying that uh, odds are Grimm's Vat has filled all of the reservoirs uh, in the process of preparing for an eruption. And again, the Jokulhlaip has uh, most likely started. He believes that the glacial run has already begun. And it says that the glacial run is going to be small and, again, lasting only a couple of days. Now, despite the small size of this glacial run, there's quite a lot of water in the area, as much as there would be on a regular summer day or like a warm summer day here in Iceland. So that's something to, uh, to keep in mind. Now, again, he points out that seismic activity has increased slowly since the last eruption back in 2011. And there's signs that the pressure and tension are increasing in the volcano. Very natural to interpret all of this as a long-term sign of a volcanic eruption and the seismic activity, again, increasing in the area. If we go back to the seismic map, we can see, if we go down to Vatsnyokot, we can see exactly uh, what we're seeing. We're seeing larger earthquakes kind of hitting up. Now, according to the geophysicist, the most likely places for the eruption are under the southern edge of Grimsfat which is in the southern edge of the Grimsvat Kaladra. We just have to see where it goes. Grimsvat is far from a build-up area, so there's not really any big risk to settlements or people. You know, the closest one, I think, is about 80, 90 kilometers away. Different story than what we're seeing in the Reykjanes Peninsula, where we're still expecting an eruption any day, and, uh, and we had some tragic news there coming out from yesterday, but we'll get to that in just one second. Now, on the other hand, again... Because this is underneath a glacier, the eruption here would differ from the Reykjanes one because this one would be an explosive eruption. Now, most eruptions in Grumsvat are classified as medium to small, even though, you know, this ash cloud and, and all the things that pop up into the air, it goes around 12 kilometers, but it doesn't last very long. But we're just going to have to wait and see exactly what happens. So, no signs that... Uh, the Reykjanes Peninsula and what's going on over there has any direct connection to Grimsvat. Uh, there's a lot of active volcanoes and on average there's an eruption every three years in Iceland. So there's periods of time when there's more frequent eruptions that happen sort of back to back as we're seeing now on the Reykjanes Peninsula and then more than likely we're going to see Grimsvat go uh, later on. But uh, I mean of course Iceland's most active volcanoes show signs that they're about to erupt more often than they actually do. Still, with all that saying, being said, everything indicates that there's going to be an eruption in Grimsvat. It's filled all of the reservoirs in preparation for this, so everyone should be ready for something to happen. That's the news, and the last little bit is I know that yesterday I talked about a man falling into an earthquake crack in the ground in uh, Grindavik, rescue crews are still trying hard to find him and see if he's in there. I mean, all signs point to that he's in there. Um, they're looking at possibly using divers because we have about a 30 meter, 20 to 30 meter crack that goes down. And then there's water below that. And they're estimating that that water is pretty deep and he might be down there. So they're looking at using divers, but it's very dangerous. The walls of this sort of crevasse keep collapsing and they're having to make it bigger and, and reinforce things so you know hopefully they they find him soon and uh hopefully there's the best outcome possible for that because uh you know there's a lot of stories of people surviving miraculous things and i'm hoping that's that's what's going to happen here so thank you so much for watching subscribe to keep up to date on everything that's going on here in iceland regarding earthquakes rescue efforts and of course upcoming eruptions that may even disrupt air traffic.